Australians are going to get a huge draw here. The majority have realised, freestyle realised in uh, recent years, Michael Flynn has been the anchor leg. This time, Michael Flynn will be the first swimmer. Ian Thorpe, the new world record holder, will be anchoring that team. The Americans, of course, the ones to beat. Fair bit of experience. So that's a possibility again. No Gary Hall Jr. though. Take your marks. The 4x100 men's relay. New Zealand in lane 7 at the bottom of the screen. The white cap is that of Japan in lane 6. Two up from the bottom, that is. The US of A in, in 5, Australia in 4, Canada in 3, South Africa 2, and Chinese Taipei at the top of the screen. Already they're dropping off, and already Michael Flynn is swimming very strongly for Australia, and he takes them through, Michael, in 23-3-4. Second is South Africa, third is America, fourth is Canada, but Flynn, with the straight arm action, is swimming strongly. Very strongly indeed. I'm just looking at Popov's record. It's 48.21 with a 23-3-3 split. And uh, Michael holds the Commonwealth record at 49.15. He could break this here. 48.73. That is a magnificent swim, Michael Clem, and the crowd's come alive now. Well, I will under the Commonwealth record. Sensational time. So Michael Clem has eclipsed the Commonwealth record set by himself, and he's done it easily. So the Australian looking strong with Jeff English in the water, swimming the second leg. The Americans might be now in second placing. South Africa's close up, Canada's not far away, the others dropping off. But English went through first. Josh Davis second for America. Dedekind third for South Africa. Now English is the weakest of our four swimmers, the Australians. Now the Americans coming at him now, but if he can maintain this lead, he's handing off to Chris Feidler, the man of experience in third. So the split at the end of the second leg, the world record split, 138.43. The Australians with over a metre lead, and they're under world record time. They're point one under world record time, and Feidler is in the water for Australia, Walker for America, Steele for Canada, and Neithling for South Africa. This is a race between two. Now, Walker is the American's fastest swimmer. He's gone third, which is a little unusual. Feidler's breathing on the other side, which means down the second leg of his second 50 metres of his 100 metres, he'll be watching Walker the whole way. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull away from the American. Feidler had a lead of one one hundredth of a second. Walker second, Canada third, South Africa fourth, and then New Zealand back in fifth placing. They're coming to the 15 metre rope, and Feidler is fighting back. Walker had him, but Feidler is fighting. Feidler goes down to the wall, and he's going to give the Australians about an arm's length lead. Into the water goes the world 400 metre record breaker tonight. Ian Thorpe brings them home for Australia. Ian Thorpe in the water for Australia. Jason Lezak for America. And Graham Ducey for Canada with Greg Main Bailey for South Africa. Thorpe's uh, holding the lead here. Lezak's having a great go, but you would expect Thorpe would be hurting so much after that 400. He's going to turn with 50 metres to go in front. So, Ian Thorpe, the crowd, obviously they love him. Can he hold on? Coming at him is the American Lezak. He's split in 48.55 this year, but it's Thorpe looking at him contemptuously. They're inside the 15. Thorpe's in front. Lezak can't get him. Lezak won't get him. And Thorpe swims it down, wins it for Australia in 3.16.08. It is a new Commonwealth record, but it's just outside world time. What a sensational relay. All four of those Australians, I think they all would have been very close, if not under their personal best times. You have to when you're swimming that fast, and the Americans suffer their first ever loss in a Pan Pacific Championships. Thorpe must have been in a hell of a lot of pain there uh, coming down that last lap. He's done so much tonight, but he hung on for the Australians. They haven't lost this event, not only at Pan Pax, but at Worlds and Olympics, according to the records. I mean, this is... This is really a stamp that the Australian men, everybody's looking over their shoulder at them now. They are in supremacy. They certainly are in now. Four by 200, easily the number one in the world. And the medley relay looking that way as well. So possibly three gold medal chances next year. Now how good's this man, Ian Thorpe? Michael Flynn, the Commonwealth record in the uh, setting, uh, setting out the relay there. 
but uh, four great individual swimmers makes one fantastic team. They have gone just less than one second outside the world record and Nicole is down on the pool deck with the boys now. Well congratulations to all of you a Commonwealth record in the relay but Michael firstly the you a Commonwealth record off the start 48.73 you must be pretty happy with that. Yeah it's been a long time coming I've wanted to go on the 49 for a while now and you know the Europeans are going very quick around those times so I'm glad to, to be around that region as well. And Chris, a tough leg for you there, having Neil Walker right beside you, but you really kicked on with the final stages to give a lead over to Thorpey. Yeah, he, he uh, doesn't need much of a lead at all, and he seems to come home over the top, but full credit to Michael tonight. He was really the person who carried our team home, and 48-7 was amazing. Yeah, congratulations, Michael. Ian, a great night for you. A split of 48.55 to cap off the Australian victory. Congratulations. Thanks, you know, it was a, a great race tonight. The Americans did a great job. The Australian team all pulled together as individuals and also as a team. That's why we got the good result. And Jeff, I can't remember last time the Americans were beaten in the 4x100 men's freestyle relay, so congratulations on that. Must be good to be part of this relay. Yeah, I've, uh, I've missed out a lot the last couple of times. It's, uh, it's really good to get back in there when the, uh, when the boys can have a win. Well, congratulations and good luck for the rest of the meet. Thank you.